Hi guys, welcome to this extra video. Today, I wanna tell you guys all about how I know Stella was meant for our family and how I knew we should buy her, even when the odds were kind of against us buying her. saw last December when I dreamed that I was gonna fall for my very first time um, in my horse riding career I woke up came downstairs started the vlog and I said you guys I know I'm gonna fall some of you guys maybe didn't believe me about four days later I fell um, this morning I was almost awake and I was just about to wake up and I saw a vision flash in my face and you know what it was it was me flat on my back laying in the ground at the in the arena right along the wall and it, like the wind was knocked out of me and I was just laying on the ground flat on my back. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall. All I saw in my dream was me laying on the ground with this incredible feeling of peacefulness. There was no sound. I couldn't see anything really. It was just, it was eerie quiet, but I felt so much at peace. It was just like, like in the movies what you see or like if you were in heaven, it just was pure peace and calm and quiet. It was incredible. It was like, so I wasn't even worried about my fall at all, but you guys know, you watched my fall right here on this channel four days later, and I, it was not like that at all, although it was like that. From that moment that I started to slip until I hit the ground, probably about two seconds, it felt like an eternity to me. As I was falling, it was completely quiet, completely calm, it was heaven-like, and it was the most peace I've ever felt in my life. It was just so incredibly tranquil and peaceful until I hit the ground. I'm gonna tell you about um, how I know Stella was meant for our family and how I knew we should buy her, even when the odds were kind of against us buying her. So I'm just going to tell you the story about before we got Stella. So, um, uh, like I said, I've always had dreams. I've always had small little visions. It's kind of like when you have deja vu. If I think about something and it's something that's going to happen or it's meant to happen, I'll have like a deja vu about it. So I could be driving down the road and I can look at a house and be like, oh my gosh, I love that house. I love the blue shutters on it. And, and then all of a sudden, if a blue house with blue shutters um, or if a house with blue shutters is going to be in my future or is going to be important to my life, I'll have this little deja vu kind of vision about it. One day, I was reading to the girls a book in our homeschool. Um, we, every morning we do like a read aloud and I was reading to them and, and in the book this girl was talking about her and her horse and for some reason it triggered a memory in me and I saw and, and it must have probably only been like a two second um, image but it seemed to last forever as well and I saw my girls standing in the spring on a hill they were outside and they were standing in the grass on a hill and all I could see were from the top of their boots down and this is before we had any horses. This is back before we even knew we were ever gonna get a horse. This is back when we were just like many of you guys, wishing and dreaming and hoping for a horse. This is back when I didn't know what was gonna happen. So I saw my girl sitting on these horses and Gabby was sitting on, this was back before I even knew Gabby loved bay horses. Gabby was sitting on this tall, dark brown horse and she was just standing there and the horse was just standing there and maybe was taking a picture of them they were just standing side by side sophie was sitting on a black and white horse and what really stood out in that vision was the markings on the horse all i could see was kind of like from the top of the leg down and on one leg the black spot went around in a certain pattern on the leg one leg was mostly white on that side and the other leg had this big black area and it was in a specific design and and it was only a few seconds and I said oh we're gonna get horses we're gonna have horses Gabby you're gonna have a dark brown horse and Sophie you're gonna have a black and white paint horse and um they're like oh yay because all my family a lot of my friends they know about my dreams they know that when I dream stuff like that usually it does come true one thing I've learned about my dreams or when I see things even when I'm awake 
is that there's no time limit. There's no time limit on dreams. So I might see something in my dream tonight that might not happen for 15 years. But knowing that it's going to happen always gives me such strong faith and the ability to wait. It's so much easier to wait for something when you know that it's coming. Fast forward like a few months and we actually started looking for our very first horse. And I said to our trainer, like, okay, you know, we looked at a bunch of horses, we studied all the horses online. My trainer came to me one day and said, oh, you know, I really love this horse. And I said, I don't think that's our horse. And she's like, but it's a gray horse. And I was like, I think we're gonna get a black and white paint. And she said, good luck. All we have in this area are chestnuts. You're going to get a chestnut probably like everybody else. Um, and she said it nicer than that, but that was the gist of what she said. And I was like, yeah, maybe, but I really feel like we're going to get a black and white bite paint. And it's not that I wanted a black and white paint, even though I love paints. Um, it's that when I see something, there's this overwhelming emotion that comes with it where I already love it and I already feel such a strong connection. So I want what's already going to happen. I don't know how to explain it. It's like God could show me something that is against what I even believe, but as soon as I see it, I feel this overwhelming connection and desire for it. Time went on, we were looking for horses and looking for horses, and one day I was talking to Kaylee's mom because they have a black and white paint, and um, she was talking about how horrible it was to keep him clean because he's mostly white, and I said, you know, I really think that I'm gonna get, a, that we're gonna end up with a black and white paint. I've dreamed it and I really feel that that's what's gonna happen to us. And she said, well, if you get a black and white paint, make sure you get one that is mostly black because white is hard. All throughout our journey to find another horse, to find Stella, um, I was open to looking at other horses because even though I dreamed it and I believed it and I felt it and I, I planned for it, I, I can never know for sure what's gonna happen and I never wanna close anything off. So I was always open to other horses, to other, um, situations but every time we looked at a horse I'd go in and I would feel I could physically feel like this is not gonna be it because it's not a black and white paint and I never tried to find a black and white paint but when another horse came into our lives I always felt like I bet you this isn't gonna be it because it doesn't match my dream I bet you and this has worked for me my whole entire life so Fast forward to the time that Sam and Fiona both sent me the ad for Stella and I saw her and she was a black and white paint and I didn't get super excited yet because I've seen a couple other paints in the process of looking and I was looking at her and I very first thing I did was go to look at her legs and her leg, um, her leg markings matched my vision and so then I started to get really excited and on some level I knew she was our horse before we even went there just because of my vision and I didn't I wasn't like didn't have my checkbook out ready to buy her it's more like I knew that if this was our horse everything was just gonna work out I don't even know I don't even have the words to describe Imagine somebody shows you a picture of your surprise birthday party. They show you a picture, um, they're standing in the doorway of the room, all decorated and perfect for your birth surprise birthday party. They show you a snapshot. They don't tell you what it is, but then one day, all of a sudden, somebody says, hey, let's go for ice cream. And you end up going someplace and it's a surprise and they walk you to this door. And as you get closer to the door, you're like, it, it triggers in your brain, oh, this looks exactly, this door looks exactly like the door in that picture of my surprise birthday party. So before you even get inside the door and see that your surprise birthday party is on the other side, you have a really strong feeling that this is it. This is when they're gonna surprise you with the party because you've already seen the birthday party room. Does that make sense? Like that, that's the best way that I can describe it. So. Going to see Stella, we drove four hours there and four hours back, and going to see her, I went in with that same mindset of seeing the door of the birthday party. I went there knowing that this horse was probably the horse, and if it was, that it was all going to work out, that there was not going to be any stress for me to have to deal with because it was all just going to work out. Like it was just meant to be. So everything was going to happen. So I could go into that situation of seeing Stella with total trust that I wasn't the one completely in control here, that, that 
if this horse was meant for us, then it was just gonna work out. So you guys know uh, what happened with Stella. We went there and she had a lot of problems, but her personality was unbelievable. And we spent time um, sending pictures to our vet and to our farrier and discussing it with our trainer. We made a plan for what would happen if she didn't work out, that she would you know, eventually be a trail horse for me. And so we bought her and a lot of people didn't understand it. And that is a big part of why we bought her. And ever since then, it has felt like to me that she has been meant for us all this time. And I don't know what the future holds, um, but I know that she has been meant to be with us for as long as she is meant to be with us, she will be with us. That is a story of how we got Stella. And I have a million other stories about how my dreams lead me to making the choices that are right for me, that are meant for me, that are guided. Because I dream and because I'm given that opportunity to see um, a glimpse of what is supposed to happen. It does help me with my faith. I always take a deep breath before I make a decision. I often um, tell people I need to pray on it before I make a decision because I need to take time to see the sign. God can tell you things even without dreams. God gives you no less than five million signs when he wants you to go one way opposed to as opposed to another way. So I share that story with you right now because a few weeks ago I did dream God telling me that I needed to share my spiritual side on our channel and then he said once you do that you will never look back and he said those exact same words to me in my other dream about if our channel is going to be successful he said when you hit 3,000 subscribers you will never look back and so a couple weeks ago he said to me in a dream you need to you need to share your spiritual side and then you'll never look back and then i woke up and i was like no please no i do not want to do this and so I am not one to say no to God. I always listen. I always pay attention to my instincts, my intuition, my dreams, um, any signs that I get. I pay attention to everything. I'm like a crazy person. I don't do anything on my own. I do everything. I let God guide me. I, if God says, hey, I don't think you should do that, I'm like, see ya. Like, I, I don't argue with God. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do this. I, I, we're a horse channel. So I ended up um, trying to make our vlogs a little bit more spiritual and it was really hard for me and I, I didn't know what I was doing. And um, so then the last couple of days, I felt compelled to make this video and tell you guys about my dreams and share the story about how I knew Stella was the right horse for us. I'm gonna end this video, but while I do, I'm gonna ask you guys, um, uh, do you want to see more videos like this? Do you, if I put it in a playlist and um, only the people that are interested in this kind of stuff would watch it? Or do you think this is not the channel? I should make another channel? I don't know. I am totally interested into hearing, in hearing what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you guys if you've had any dreams that have changed your life or influenced your decisions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.